If you're looking for a small portable device that you can throw in your backpack to get stuff done, maybe you're at college, maybe you're a business owner and you go out on the road from time to time and you like to work on a big powerful machine when you're, when you're getting your heavy lifting done but you want something portable and easy when you need to, I think you've got three choices. You have got the Surface Pro 8, which is obviously a very popular two-in-one tablet from Microsoft and I happen to have a video on that, so check it out. You'd be looking at an iPad Pro, Apple versus Windows, Still portable, still in that 12-inch size point. And I've got a video on that that you can check out if you want to see the full review. And now we've got this Surface Laptop Go 2, 12.4 inches, a little bit smaller. 12.9 on the iPad Pro, 13 on the Surface Pro 8. So it's the smallest of the three, but it's a full-blown laptop and it comes with a keyboard. How does it compare to the iPad Pro? Well, let's dive in and take a look. So obviously, let's get the first thing out of the way. This is a 599, 699, 799 device. This is a 1099, 1199, 1299 kind of device. So price-wise, this is not a fair comparison. You might be asking yourself, Mike, what are you doing? These are not the same devices. Okay, humor me. Just bear with me a little bit. Yes, they're not the same. This is obviously a touchscreen you know, tablet. You can goof off with it at night on the couch. You can do all those kind of fun things. But if you want something that's portable that you can just throw in a bag and take with you, you will have issues with an iPad. iOS does not render everything the same as a regular system. And I've talked about this repeatedly in different videos because I can take an iPad with me when I'm popping to the office for a couple of hours, but more often than not, I still get caught out on a website trying to do something that I cannot do because of the way Safari is rendering that site. Full operating system on a Surface Laptop Go, full operating system on a Surface Pro Go. So there are pros and cons here between the two. And you can see just by looking at these screens, this is a very sharp, clear screen considering the price point of the device. You can spec it as an i5 with 8 gig and a 128 drive for $699. And right now on launch week, they're doing some crazy trading deals. So you can save a ton of money on a device that you can just throw in your bag and get stuff done. Also, this comes with a keyboard. This doesn't. So you have to spend even more money to buy that keyboard. And frankly, I don't like the, the keyboard case on iPads. I've never liked it. I don't understand it. You might, and that's okay. We can disagree. We won't fall out over it. I'm still going to like you. We can still be friends. I just don't get it. I don't like the keys. I don't like the trackpad. It doesn't work for me. If I want to get work done on my lap, I can do it here if I'm holding it and I can touch, but it's a big device and I got big hands. Okay. And I just about reached the middle of the device with my thumbs. This is a laptop. It's balanced. It's even keeled. And I don't have those same issues. The flip side is battery life's killer, battery life is average. So, you know, horses for courses, you're going to get a lot more apps on here that are very uniquely designed to work with the, the software that they are made for. This is going to be more standardized programs, web-based progressive web apps, that kind of stuff. So let's, let's look at these two screens side by side. Obviously, I know iPad Pros are a 999, 1099 device, depending on what what sales are running right now. So clearly it's going to be higher end, a little bit more like the Surface Pro 8 from a quality perspective. But I just wanted to show this to you because look at the colors here. This is where you start to see this does not look the same as this. This almost looks like it's got a blue hue to it, going towards that turquoise kind of color. This looks very green. I don't know which one of these is actually more accurate. I know that sounds crazy to say because at first, you just assume, well, iPad Pro has got the better screen. iPad's going to have the better color reproduction. It's going to be the most color accurate because it's Apple, yada, yada, yada. But, and here's the but. The new Surface Laptop Go 2 in their sage green color is sage green. I know, it sounds crazy. But this doesn't look green. When you look at the Surface Laptop in that image, it doesn't actually look that green. Whereas here, on the Laptop Go 2, it actually does look green. I don't know, because I don't have a green one here to compare it to in real life. I'm sorry. I should have bought two of them, but I didn't. I guess what I'm saying is, I don't know how close or not these really are to the actual color. And TJ, come on, give me this laptop. This is how we roll at Mike Drops Tech. Here comes a MacBook Pro 14 inch. Okay, why does that now look greener? What's happening right now? The iPad now looks greener and the MacBook Pro looks a little bit bluer. 
It literally looks green now. Let's get them all out. Let's check out another one here. We're going to do a little bit of improv on display testing on Microsoft's website to try and get this color right for you, my peeps, that watch this channel. So thanks for hanging out with me. I can promise you this. If you think it's slow watching, it took us a whole lot more time in the studio while we goofed off with all these devices. So, oh wow, it's green. So now we have got the Yoga 9i, because I've got a comparison coming out here soon with this and a MacBook Pro. I've got a MacBook Pro, 14 inch M1 Pro, I got my iPad Pro and my laptop go to, and we're looking at the same page on all of them. So you can see how it's rendering for a start. You can see how the scaling is affecting things a little bit. And you can see the colors. The Yoga, interestingly, is by far the greenest. Very, very green tint. These two in the middle, the Laptop Go and the iPad, are looking pretty similar. MacBook Pro looks the coolest out of a lot of them. But when I take this away, almost instantly, this now looks bluer compared to that green. I'm looking over here because I got TJ right next to me and he's as confused as I am about how these colors are changing as you're looking at them. If I move the yoga over here, it's like it plays tricks on your eyes. As you, yeah, it, you see that, how blue and cold it looks, right? I hate to say it, but if I was a gambling man, I think the two Windows laptops are probably closer to the green of the Sage Green device. Yeah. And they're probably showing this webpage in a more accurate color than than the Apple devices. Maybe Apple just did a little tweak when you go to a Microsoft website and made it look worse. I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to it. As we scroll down the page, obviously we've got promotion here on the iPad Pro. And I, I just wanted to show this to you so you could see. Is it perfectly fluid? No, you still get a little bit of that kind of ziggy zag as you scroll up and down. But for the most part, it's nice and smooth. Here's the Surface Laptop. You definitely see the difference there. Let me go back to the same bit. You see that here. You see that there. A little bit more kind of jaggedness. But again, this is the starting point, $599, $500 less than the starting point of an iPad Pro. Does it still scroll really nice and smooth? Yes, it does. Let me get back to the overview. Here's our lady. And here she is over here. Going to kind of just keep scrolling down. Dream big, travel light. Dream big and travel light. I think overall, even how the fonts render, this is down to the system and the, the subsystem of its rendering engine. You know, this is fitting the screen perfectly over here. This one's going kind of to the edges. That's because this resolution's a little bit lower. Uh, but then when I get to the images, it's handling that pretty much the same. So look, obviously iPad Pro is a little bit more expensive. The screen seems to handle things a little bit better on touch. Is it a massive difference? Absolutely not. Is it a $500 difference? Absolutely not. I think that just goes to show how impressive the Surface Laptop Go 2 is at that $599, $699 price point. And don't forget, folks, it comes with a keyboard. But overall, between these two, after running through the specs, after looking at the devices, after thinking about use cases, I got to tell you, all honesty here, and I love my iPad. It's one of my favorite devices. I, I like a lot of devices. I like too many devices. I have a problem. That's why I have a tech channel. But I got to tell you, if I was looking for a secondary device, because that's what they both are, neither of these are going to be primaries. I still need something else that I can really dig in and get some powerful work done. A secondary device that I can throw in my backpack when I'm heading out to the office, when I'm going on the road, I just want to take some notes. I just want to be able to get some quick stuff done. I want to handle my emails easily, all that kind of stuff. And I don't want to do that on my phone. I genuinely think I would probably go for a Surface Laptop 2. Surface Laptop Go 2, which it was a shorter name. Let's just call it the Laptop Go 2 or the LG 2. Let's go with that from now on. I would go with the LG 2 and save the money versus something like this. Especially because phones are so capable and are so big now that, you know, a lot of the times tablets aren't getting used anyway. If you're a business owner, look at the usage stats on your Google Analytics. The amount of people that come to my websites for my companies on tablets is barely zero. It's like low single digits. Everybody's using phones, everybody's using real devices. And that's another reason why I think Microsoft was very clever in what they've done here 
with the LG2. If you've got questions, ask me, but don't hate on me. This is better than it looks, and I think you might be surprised. Wait, 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 don't go right now. This is the bit that I need your help with. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see my videos when they come out. Look, I work really hard on these. I comment on all the comments, myself, me, Mikey, little old Mikey, all by myself, because I value you guys and the feedback you give. Hopefully the videos are valuable to you and they're helpful. When you subscribe, you help the channel grow and you'll be awesome. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And now you really can go till next time. Grab that be amazing.